Welcome back everybody. Today, I figured with the upcoming Yokai Watch event returning next week for the first time since 2020, it's a good time to go over a way to utilize the event to potentially make some easy gil. You see, the event is a long grind requiring a lot of fate farming in a Realm Reborn, Heaven's Ward, and Stormblood. Because of this, it's highly recommended to work on a relic weapon while completing the event. Most of the fate farming takes place in a Realm Reborn, so a lot of people will be planning to take this chance to work on a Zodiac weapon. With the Zodiac fate grinds being some of the later steps, this means a lot of people are going to want to quickly complete the earlier steps in order to be ready for when the event goes live. This gives us a chance to take advantage of the time crunch. So I'm going to show you a couple quick ways to make some nice gil with hardly any work or investment. The first project will be farming level 1 battle materials. That's the red, purple, and yellow, not the green or blue. Battle materials are needed to upgrade the Zodiac weapon. It will require at least 22 level 1 materials in order to create each weapon, but that would be extremely lucky. More than likely, it will require about 40. Because of this, each of these materials tends to sell for about 6,000 gil each, but I've seen some of them as high as 25,000. I've been able to discover an easy way to farm up these materials. First, you pick a crafting job. Next, head to an independent jeweler in the starting city. You'll want to buy the lowest level jewelry for each slot. Make sure to buy the fighting slash caster jewelry and not the crafter or gatherer. That's because you can only get the battle materials from fighting gear. You could always just craft this jewelry, but with each item being roughly 200 gil, I figure it's just not worth the effort. Be sure to equip the low level jewelry. I've decided to create a new safe gear set. This way I can easily equip and I won't accidentally sell the jewelry when clearing out my armory chest. You can also replace your armor pieces. Just be sure to keep your craftsmanship above the minimum amount to be able to use quick synthesis. Now you want to find an item you can easily quick synthesize. I recommend crafting something in high demand that you can also benefit from selling, like taking logs and turning them into lumber or ore into ingots or bars and so on. I currently have been stockpiling dark matter clusters, so I'll just use this chance to turn them into Magitech repair materials. If you don't care what you craft and just want to farm the materials, you can always do the level 1 crafts like turning moco grass into hemp and yarn and just vendoring the end results. By doing this, even after buying the shards off the market board and the level 1 materials from the vendor, you'll still be able to make a nice profit. Though I still highly recommend finding something you can easily craft that will sell well to increase your gill earning potential. Each server is a little different, so just look at the market board for low cost materials but high selling crafts that can be quick synthesized. Next, just start quick synthesizing. I just set it up to craft 99 and wait. And just cancel the craft if my spirit bond reaches 100%. You can tell it's max because the item dot will change from green to white. Just extract the material and get back to farming. This is a nice casual farm and the materials sell very well and quickly. I made 500 Magitech repair materials and was able to collect 20 materials of various types, averaging 120,000 gil for just the material. You can do this as much as you want and don't need to worry too much about oversaturating the market. I would just recommend selling in stacks no larger than five at a time. Side note, this is also the recommended way of farming crafting material at the beginning of a new expansion. The only difference is you find an easy current level expansion craft and use the newest vendor gear. The next easy farm I want to show you is found in Western Thailand at the Silver Bazaar. You'll want to head inside the building and talk to Lala Vendor. He sells various items for 3,000 gil each. You can desensitize these items to acquire aged items that are needed to craft the high quality items that are required for one of the later steps in the grind. In my findings, the aged items are roughly a 33% chance on desynthesize and sell for about 30,000 gil each. So without doing anything else, you can easily double or triple your money. Though with a little bit more work, you can turn these aged items into high quality perfect versions, and then they'll sell for about 100,000 gil each. In order to do this, you will need the level one mastery books in order to unlock the recipes. You can find these books in Mordona. Just talk to Tanalan. He sells the mastery book for a high quality item that you can craft or buy off the market board. Fortunately, these items are usually fairly cheap on the market board. Once you have the recipe, just collect the other materials through crafting, gathering, or buying off the market board, or sending your retainers, and turn 30,000 gil into 100,000 gil. Make sure to only put one up at a time because people only want one for the weapon and won't likely buy the larger stacks. 
I hope you enjoyed these two grinds. They're very easy ways to make some easy gill. And if you're seeing this video after the event has ended, fear not because people are always working on relic weapons to unlock further clamps. It'll just be more popular during the event because the fake grind on both activities make them a great combo. I'm looking forward to the event because this will be the first time it has returned since I started playing. Those rare mounts will soon be mine. Woohoo! Consider subscribing to the channel for more Gil videos in the future. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye.